Uh, welcome back, everybody. This is the last portion of this show, and we do have another one coming on immediately following this. We do have a caller on the line. It is Erlene. And Erlene, what is your question? Hey, hello. I have a question for both of your guests. Um, I know Harley. I, I'm not familiar with Fred. I don't know him, but I am getting acquainted tonight. And uh, they did mention they are working as a team. I know that Harley will do his level best to do it his best for Nevada. I've known him for some time. But I'd like to ask them, as a team, what plan do you have to get more doctors to Nevada? You did mention that we are short of doctors, and we are. So do you have a plan that would uh, bring them to Nevada? And I will take your answer off the air. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have something like 40 doctors a year are graduated from uh, University of Nevada Medical School. The vast majority of them leave the state. Uh, because uh, of essentially they think they can make more money in other places. There are some spectacular medical schools around the world, especially in Switzerland uh, and even in New Delhi. Um, and one of the things we probably need to do is we need to go over what it takes to open a doctor's office here in Nevada. And we're talking... In, it's about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars a month just to get the doors open before the doctor makes any kind of money. Uh, much of the uh, medical care is done through HMOs, so the doctors don't have the you know essentially the freedom to do what they need to do when they want to do it. And I think. Uh, one of the programs we could put in place is every doctor needs to have um, malpractice insurance. And one of the ways I would uh, look at is for uh, any doctor that comes to Nevada to open an office, uh, the state uh, could set up a fund similar to the workforce development fund that they're uh, working on now uh, or the, the grants fund that they uh, approved in the last legislature to pay the malpractice insurance for uh, primary care physicians for three to five years, depending on, uh, to let them get established and get a clientele. Uh, and that is a pretty uh, decent incentive, I think, for uh, doctors to come here. Another way would be do it like in Switzerland, in which the doctors work for uh, the state, uh, but they get a salary and they're treated exactly like uh, an independent doctor would be in terms of what they charge and all of that stuff. Uh, it's just that it, it eases the licensing requirement to get started. Yeah, I wonder, incentives certainly help. Uh, like municipalities in Nevada are, are insured through uh, a lot, largely from a I think it's kind of sanctioned by the state's called pull pack, and it provides insurance for all the municipalities, and that keeps the cost down for everything. So, expanding on what you said, uh, that could also be in to include uh, uh, malpractice. Uh, one of the problems with Nevada is it's nationally known for being a state that exports a lot of money due to we don't have a lot of medical specialties. Um, people make money in our state, and then when they need something done, like uh, I've known people that. Uh, need lung uh, problem had lung problems going to Colorado or ankle problems going to uh, uh, Oregon or other states. So we export a lot of money from our state because we're not really known for any specialties. And Nevada should in invest in, in that medical fields and try to get us known for medical uh, specialties. Also, uh, just think of it like here in Pahrump as an example. Uh, there isn't too many people that have insurance, and so it's, it's a hard nut to crack for a lot of these hospitals to, to get doctors because, it, it, of course, it's always about the money. They're not going to make a lot of money. A lot of the people come in, can't afford to pay, and they, like our hospital has a hard time making it. We need these good-paying jobs that have good benefits and where people, most part, are insured, and that'll help bring doctors. And, of course, there's incentives and stuff, but, you know, it goes back to what, what I was talking about earlier. 
You know, most of the people get elected to office, they got theirs, they're not really worried about you. It's a social club. And if you really, truly want change and want things to happen, you're going to have to put some fighters in office like Fred and I. Or it's going to be business as usual. You really have to change why you vote for people. The, the status quo is always making the big names known. That's who they want. And as I said earlier, you know, they represent the special interests. The special interest is greed. And it only is interested in what's good for them, not you and I. And that's why we're close, more and more every day becoming more of a third world country. We've got to stand up and fight. Or we're, our forefathers that created this country must be tr rolling over in their grave. Because, uh, you know, our government's become what it was put in place to protect us from. You know, I, I, you know it's, it's time to, to take our country and our, and our state back. And we have so much potential here. We, we have a lot of uh, great natural resources that should be doing better for the state. Uh, we have gaming. We, you know, gaming needs to re reinvent itself and look at itself. You know, a lot of the gaming in foreign countries has taken away a lot of our customers now. And uh, the bullet train is an example. If, to Las Vegas, to, to Southern California, would bring in a lot of things. That would be a great investment for both states. Uh, California can keep the ticket money, and we'll keep the wallet money when they get here. But we 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 got to start looking at uh, new ideas, and you know, like I said, if you support Fred and I, you got a great team working for you. It isn't afraid to stand up and, and do what needs to be done. We all know what needs to be done, but it's hard being on the front lines. But you have two people who are willing to do that for you, and all we ask is for your vote. So I have a couple of questions. Um, and Bill, do you have anything right now? No, no. No. <laughs> all right. Um, so. One of my questions is uh, to Fred uh, The medical school in Las Vegas, that seems to be a well-attended, well-respected medical school. I believe I heard recently about It's in Nick's Reno, really. It, what? It's in Reno. That's, oh, in Reno. Oh, well, I just read about one in Las Vegas well, and there are 40 graduates that... Uh, that uh, okay, what they're planning to do is the Nevada System of Higher Education wants to put a medical school in uh, at the UNLV uh, mm -hmm. University. And they want $30 million to plan it. And for $30 million, you could get all kinds of doctors to come here without, that are already doctors, that already have experience. And that's just for the planning. And even if they make the school viable, it's only going to produce like 40, 50 doctors a year, which is way less than what we really need. So what we need to do is we need to uh, do what other states are doing to us and poach doctors from their uh, states to come here uh, and you know make it so that they could establish a practice and and live well but a lot of doctors don't want to come here because the education system's so bad yeah or you know we can even supplement their costs for going to school with the condition that you will remain in Nevada and you know be a doctor in Nevada and for that's a three five four do. years so there's just plenty like, that can be done just like the male practice uh, insurance is a common thing to do to offer them that yeah. kind of pool well, pack too as well. one of the more interesting things in Switzerland mm -hmm. if a doctor sees a patient they send the bill to the state now the state doesn't collect the money, okay? <clears throat> People have insurance, but the state sends the doctor a check in 10 days. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to a doctor the other day that uh, it sometimes it takes them two, three months to get paid. So they have to go to the bank and borrow money so they can have cash flow. I know we're about to sign up, but I do want to say that yesterday the bullet train was approved there for Bakersfield to Fresno. They said they're going to start building in uh, 2015. So there's for Harley. Fantastic. <laughs> we could hook onto that thing. Well, we'll send it back to Bill. <laughs> we will be back in just a few minutes with another candidate for uh, commissioner. I want to thank you, Harley. Thank you. I want to thank you. Thank Good you. luck to both of you Thanks. on your campaign. And thank you we'll for see you again. inviting us. And we'll see you again after us. the primary. All right. <laughs>